kamu aku Good morning, everyone. Good morning, church. We praise and give thanks to God for this beautiful new morning, as well as the gift of life that God has given us to once again gather together in worship, 
even virtually. Welcome to Silliman University Church Sunday Worship Service today. We bring greetings to everyone worshiping with us over Radio 95.1, DYSRFM, and through FB page, live streaming, and YouTube channel, Silliman University Church. We welcome all those who are joining us virtually in our celebration, our students, faculty, and staff, alumni, families, and friends of Silliman all over the world. As today, we officially open the 119th Silliman University Founders Day celebration through this worship service. With our guest preacher, as we also welcome her in our pulpit today, live, no less than the Silliman University President, Dr. Betty Sernal McCann. She will be formally introduced later. We also welcome this morning through a recorded video of the University Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Earl Jude Paul Cleope, the chairperson of the Founders Day Committee to officially open our Founders Day celebration today. The pastoral team in full force will be leading us in our worship service this morning. And together with us is Professor Isabel Di Maya Vista at the pipe organ and Ms. Alan Diadem Kessed Hovita on the piano. Our song leaders for our hymn singing are some members of the Covenant Choir led by Dr. Susan Suarez with Mr. Rigel Suarez, Mr. Kang Zong, Ms. Shishi Antonio, uh, Mr. Mark Martinez, and Attorney Pearl Station. And for today's anthem is a recorded video of the Covenant Choir conducted by Dr. Susan Suarez. Our special thanks to these people for offering their time, their talents and skills, and for taking charge and for helping us in our church music. To the technical team, the J2 Mad Band members, Mark and Shishi Antonio, Vince Franco, Candy Claire Swellio, and Gail Sabakahan for making our online um, ministry possible. Our endless thanks to these people. Brothers and sisters, I have, as I have mentioned earlier, that today marks the opening of the University's Founders Month celebration, an event anticipated by many Silimanians and even families and friends. But due to the persisting COVID-19 pandemic, and as part of our observance of the prevailing health protocols, this year marks a radical shift from our usual and traditional way of celebrating the events, as all major church and university events will go online and in virtual manner. And for this year's founder celebration, we are focusing on the theme, Hope Arising from the Solid Rock, which promises to offer much room for reflections and discussion that are especially relevant and immediately applicable to our current health and economic crisis and for our activities for this month church activities for this month let me emphasize emphasize some of these next sunday everyone is invited to join us in our 104th church anniversary celebration at 9 30 a.m with our invited guest preacher through a recorded video Reverend Jose Malayang, who is now based in Michigan, USA. And as also part of our 104th anniversary celebration, we will be hosting a webinar lecture presentation via Zoom of Dr. Salvador Benjamin D. Vista, entitled Navigating the New Normal. This is still on Sunday, August 16, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. His talk will discuss five mental health tips to help us navigate the new normal. This is a very timely and relevant topic that will surely be of much help to all those seeking guidance in living through these abnormal times. So everyone is invited to join us in this webinar lecture presentation. 
And for those who are interested, the Zoom link is now flashed on the screen. You can also check this in our parish news, and we will also be posting the link on our FB page next Sunday, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And on August 19, Wednesday, will be the Hibalag opening celebration through a worship service during our midweek, so at 6.30 in the evening. And on August 23, our Founders Day Sunday worship celebration at 9.30 a.m. with our guest preacher, again through a recorded video, Dr. Hope Antoni. And in the afternoon, with the youth worship, will also be our Christian night celebration led to be led by the J2 Mad Band. So especially the young people are invited to join us during our Christian night. And on August 28th, Founders Day Sunrise Service at 5 a.m. with one of the outstanding Silimanian awardees, Dr. Kenneth Koo, as our guest preacher. Again, my brothers and sisters in Christ, all these activities will be live streamed and through virtual. You can also check our parish news for updates on these activities for your guidance. Our endless thanks to everyone for your unending support of the church through prayers and monetary offerings. Thank you for those who personally sent in or deposited your offerings, tithes, pledges, and other donations. And for those who want to give your offerings, you can deposit it through our bank accounts. And for those uh, using the Veterans Bank, you may also use GCash for your deposit. Just follow the instructions now flashed on the screen together with our bank account numbers and the church contact numbers. We continue with our fundraising for the JTOMAD Project 308, which aims to raise funds for a new sound system to be used for the youth worship services and other church activities. For updates of this campaign, please refer to our parish news uploaded on our FB page. We are calling and reminding the parents of our kids to please encourage and facilitate our children to join, uh, to join us in our online Sunday school class this afternoon at 1 o'clock through our YouTube channel, Silliman University Church, and Facebook page, Silliman University Church Children's Ministry. Please be guided. All members of the Church Council are reminded for your regular meeting this afternoon at 1.30 via Zoom. For other news, announcements, and updates of the Silliman University Church Life and Ministry, please check the parish news uploaded on our FB page. And also, please follow us on Facebook through our FB page, Silliman University Church, for updates and notifications and subscribe us to our YouTube channel, Siliman University Church. Thank you so much. Once again, good morning. Let us now continue worshiping God. Good morning. It is indeed quite an honor and privilege to introduce our preacher this morning, no less than our very own president of Silliman University. Dr. Betty Cernol McCann assumed the presidency of Silliman University last June 1, 2018, as the 13th and first woman president of Silliman, and under her leadership, Silliman University was able to maintain its ranking as among the top 10 universities in the Philippines, number eight to be exact for this year. She is currently serving as president of two associations, the Association of Christian Universities and Colleges in Asia and the Asian Universities Digital Resource Network. She has spent the better part of her academic career at Silliman University, 
actively engage in teaching, training, research, community engagement, and administrative work. As a former dean of the College of Arts and Sciences and former vice president for academic affairs, she is a registered psychologist with a board of psychology of the Professional Regulation Commission of the Philippines and a certified specialist in social psychology by the Psychological Association of the Philippines. When Dr. McCann left Silliman University in 2002, she joined the United Board for Christian Higher Education in Asia and was assigned in Hong Kong to serve as Associate Director of the Asian Christian Higher Education Institute from 2002 to 2006. In 2003, she took on the role as Program Director for South Asia and she became Vice President for Programs in 2007 until her retirement in 2013. Dr. McCann has three sons, Alexander, Jeremy, and Jose Maria, all of whom are graduates of Silliman, as well as three grandsons and three granddaughters. She is happily married to Dr. Dennis Patrick McCann, who is Director of Research for Rotlin Limited, a management consultancy firm promoting corporate social responsibility with offices both in Beijing and Hong Kong. Friends, it is with great honor and pleasure to present to you our preacher for this morning's very important occasion, the opening service for our Founders Month celebration, Dr. Betty Sernol Makan, from whom we will hear the Word of God in a while. Let us look to the Lord as the cornerstone of our faith. May the choices we make reflect our dedication to live our lives as disciples of Jesus Christ. Today, may we experience Jesus as the very foundation of our lives. Praise the Lord. 
we give thanks and praise the Lord in this time of worship in the company of all believers around the world. Great are the works of the Lord, full of splendor and majesty, and His righteousness endures forever. The works of His hands are faithful and just. All His precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever. Let us come to the Lord, the cornerstone of our faith, the rock of our salvation, our refuge and strength. Let us come to the builder of our life, our anchor, our redeemer. Let us come to the one who has laid his life as the sacrifice for us and celebrate God's faithfulness. Holy and awesome is his name. We come to his courts with thanksgiving and praise. For God's faithfulness and goodness endure forever. Let us come humbly before God's throne of grace as we give God the honor and praise for all that he has done to us and for us through all the years. Please rise as we sing our hymn of praise. Let us pray together. Almighty God, you are the foundation of our life and of this institution. You, O Lord, are our anchor upon which we place our trust and hope. You have been sustaining us through these years and through these days. You have been our steadfast guide through various storms and crises. From one tiny seed of faith, you have built the foundation of this academic community that has blossomed into 119 years of existence. You have made this community a mirror of your grace and a testament to your redeeming love. As we come together today, O God, we offer to you all that has been and whatever is to come. Make us and mold us into men and women who are called to proclaim the good news, to walk in the ways of your truth and righteousness. For you, O God, are you covenanting God, and your love never ends. Guide us through your path of love and forgiveness that we may become faithful witnesses to your grace and salvation. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
be seated. Let us now come to the moment of confession. God laid his life as the foundation of our faith. God has given us the rock of our salvation. Yet, we don't trust the rock enough to pursue God's mission and God's redeeming plan for all peoples. We have set aside God's purpose and created our own, believing that we are good enough to make this world a better place. We trust our knowledge rather than seek God's wisdom. We trust the treasures of this world rather than trust in God's providence. We set aside the rock and created our own. Let us take this time and let God search our hearts and come to Him as we seek His redeeming grace, forgiveness, and healing in silence. Brothers and sisters in Christ, God is merciful and full of steadfast love. God will not forget us. God will wash us clean and lead us on path of steadfast love and faithfulness. Amen. Let us now come to God in prayer. Let us pray. We come before you today, O Lord, on this 119th Founders Day opening worship for our dear old Silliman University. We come to you now as a virtually gathered community of worshipers, students, faculty, staff, administrators, alumni, friends, friends of Silliman, guests and loved ones, praising you and thanking you for enabling us to celebrate this occasion with much joy and thanksgiving. With all the traditional activities now being toned down or undertaken virtually because of this raging pandemic, even in our province, with less homecoming and class reunioning in person and less noise making expected in the whole campus, maybe being given an opportunity to celebrate Founders Day in a radically new but equally meaningful way. For now, you may be leading us, O oh Lord, to consider these days not just as days of joyous celebrations, that pull us into various separate and unrelated events and activities, each college, each class, each batch, each fraternity, sorority, and each organization having its own distinct gathering in different places. But at this moment, O oh Lord, we pray, 
you may be bringing us together as one community in worship, united in spirit, mainly to thank you for what you have done in and through Silliman University as a Christian institution devoted to becoming a source of illumination of your wisdom in this world that is fast being swallowed by the dark forces of greed and apathy, as well as by the chaos of a pandemic. For now, O oh God, we confess how much we have benefited from the blessing of education and empowerment we received from this university, along with the blessing of a de deeper faith understanding from this church for our young men and women. Through the teaching and the preaching task, the university and the church have prepared people well for their respective careers and professions. From the church, we heard your word, O God, being preached, being taught, giving us a new dimension of understanding your love, your amazing grace that accepts and saves us all, regardless of who and what we are. It is this good news that made us feel so accepted, so much at home. It is this good news that made us experience the joys and benefits of the Silman spirit wherever we go. Enable us, O Lord, to continue upholding the truth and faith that Silman gave us, especially as we face the world of today, which is filled with so much brokenness and confusion, and even distortion of values. Enable us, O God, to become instruments of reconciliation and healing where there is so much brokenness around us. Allow us to be peacemakers where there is so much conflict and hostility, where there is so much hatred and indifference. Allow us to be witnesses to your saving love that is even willing to sacrifice. Indeed, allow us, O Lord, to keep alive that spirit of service, that distinct brand of the Silliman experience that we have to share wherever you send us. Help us, O God, to renew not only our lives, but the very life of our own university in its commitment to real quality Christian education accessible to everyone dreaming of entering its portals. Let that not the merry making of these days of celebration prevent us from feeling and sympathizing, O oh God, with those who are suffering and grieving in these days of a raging and deadly pandemic, along with those who are ill with other illnesses and conditions, such as those in our prayer list. May you heal them, O Lord, with your merciful and healing presence, as we also bring before your throne of grace those of your children who need your strength, wisdom, and guidance, and even those who continue to seek for justice. As we bring them all to you in prayer, may they also feel that you are with them in their struggles and endeavor. May we also lend a helping hand or listening ears to those who are in need of such. Let us not lose the spirit of compassion, O oh God, even in the midst of joyful celebration. This we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
With reverence to God's word, may I request those who are able to please rise as we together read the scripture taken from the book of Psalm, chapter 18, verse 2. I shall be reading from the New Revised Standard Version. Let us read together. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Here ends the reading of God's word. You may now take your seats. Jesus. 